mm, 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 mm. We are back with a new video. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. Day 5. Welcome back. Um, seems like you guys are enjoying my content. So if you have not done so, so far, I definitely subscribe to my channel because we have 20 more days 20 more days with content but um let's begin what i learned about being a mom so far it's been 20 months um i think i'm in year two is this year two i think i'm gonna officially say i'm in year two when he turns two even though he thinks he's two already but number one i am looking down on my phone i've written down a couple of things because i don't want to miss anything but the first that i would say is be patient be patient with not only your um not only the baby but also yourself like this is a new journey you have if you're a new mom you've never been a mom before if you're a second time mom you've never been a mom to two kids you've never been a mom to three kids four kids so it's a different journey and every baby is different so you have to be patient in um the journey you have to be patient um you are learning yourself as a mother if you're a new mom and you are learning yourself as a mom of two if you're mom of two you know it's a new journey so you're learning yourself um so you have to be patient um there are things that you will know at day 20 that you won't know at day one there's things that you will know at day 30 that you won't know at day 20. another thing is but don't compare don't compare yourself to moms because um my friend actually um and that this is where i got the idea from so she um, took her daughter to Target and she told me she said you moms make it look so easy I was struggling and I had to tell her that my, my baby is 20 months she, I think her April we're now in um, November her baby must seven months I'm from top of my head I don't know her baby is about seven months and mine is 20 months so you're still in the first year so um, I've fallen into a pattern I don't know exactly what I'm doing because you know I don't think you ever know what you're doing but I kind of know like certain things what works for me what works for Kai because you're not only learning you you're learning him you're learning his temper temperament you're learning his personality you're learning that when you go outside for 20 minutes he's gonna want to water if you go outside for two hours he's gonna poop if you go outside for three hours that you know you're, you're gonna learn certain things so you're gonna know exactly how to pack your diaper bag you know you're gonna know exactly what how to pack the stroller bag and that video is coming up I, I, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how I do it as a mom for 20 months you know how I do it and what make what works for me I'm also gonna show you guys how I guess the easy way there's never an easy way but an easy an easier way to leave the house you know how to leave the house quicker with a baby how what i do because i'm always leaving the house with god <laughs> we leave the house at least four to five times a week actually because he has classes so yeah so definitely be patient and flexible like you have to be flexible um because they don't have um, much of a schedule <laughs> because um, Sunday they can nap for two hours and you're like oh my goodness he napped for two hours the next day there's no nap then the next day he naps for 45 minutes there is never a um, con there's never consistency you know as you try to have consistency you know how you try to have a schedule and everyone tells you to have a schedule and everyone tells you have to consistency but as long as you try that's the key word t-r-y as long as you try to have some consistency you're good you're good because at the end of the day you're not the boss like you're not the boss they are <laughs> like literally they are if carol does not want to dab um my aunt actually she told me this the other day um she was trying to you know make carol take a nap and she's like oh he usually naps around one so i'm gonna put him down for him to nap 
she laid Kyrell down in the bed and she laid next to him because we know that if you lay down with Kyrell, Kyrell most likely gonna fall asleep because he's a cuddly baby he loves to cuddle so she laid down next to him and then Kyrell said no because she was like it's time to take a nap he's like no and he slid off the bed and he ran because guess what we're not the boss if he says no what you gonna do how you gonna force him to go to sleep you can't force him to go to sleep so you have to be flexible that's why I kind of have two plans for my days because you kind of never know what you what what like what's done but I have planned a for if he does nap plan B for if he doesn't nap so it's like it's never like oh my gosh what? like you know it's kind of like you're um 10 steps ahead of them you know but you kind of just let them think that they're the boss um so yeah so you got to be flexible and the next one i wish everyone kept telling me this but i wish i um i um no i'm gonna i was gonna say i wish i learned this earlier but my journey was i learned this around 18 months it took me 18 months to really start taking care of myself and I didn't realize that I was not taking care of myself um, I felt like I was taking care of myself and I, I think I was like doing attempts to take care of myself so I was ignoring other things other important things not the baby other important things thinking that I'm taking care of myself but I really wasn't so I did try and attempt to um, take care of myself However, when Cairo turned 18 months, it was just like a lot of transitions in my life that kind of forced me to really like open my eyes to see like you're not taking care of yourself. You're not taking care of yourself. Um, so for me, taking care of myself was not like materialistic things like buying stuff. That's not really taking care of myself. Like, yes, I love to shop, but those didn't like really... Um, I guess help me mentally so for me I had to start going to therapy um, I had to start going to therapy not just because of like um, motherhood I'll like I guess when I'm more comfortable I'll talk about why I started going to therapy but um, I started going to therapy um, to mentally start taking care of myself um, I've always wanted to go to therapy actually but I just started at 18 months and then also started going to the gym I got myself a trainer I will never forget September 1st I had my first therapy session and September 1st I had my um, first training session and September 1st was like one of the best days of my life because that was like I was starting to finally take care of myself it was kind of like a transition so yeah you really got to take care of yourself whatever is whatever what is it um whatever you need to do to take care of yourself do it whatever it is if it's going on a trip the baby will be okay take that trip if it's going to home goods every day and buying the, whatever whatever it is if it's whatever it is do it take care of yourself um i can only tell you how you know i was able to take care of myself um but yeah i'm feeling better a lot better um i jot this down but i felt like my baby daddy terrell might think differently but um i felt like i i, I put down the dad be dads and i feel like i've always let him be a dad um i'm trying to think maybe like in the first couple of months like I don't know why but dad's like to throw babies in the air I think the first couple of months when I I think the first time he did I was like but I don't know I don't think I said maybe I did say stop but it was kind of like oh my you know it was kind of it wasn't like no you need to stop it wasn't like that it was kind of like oh my gosh stop what are you doing but every time Terrell does something stupid I just laugh like I usually laugh but we'll, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask him I'm gonna ask him how he felt about uh, me um if i allowed him to be a dad or if i do allow him to be a dad and i'll like write it down on the screen but i feel like i let him be a dad 
I've learned that dads um, bond differently from their kids. They um, wrestle, they throw the kids up in the air, they do weird gymnastics things with their kids, they run around the house, um, they destroy things. Um, yeah, they just do things differently from us and that doesn't mean that they love them any less, that doesn't mean like we do things better. They just do things differently but I feel like as long as the kid is safe, you know, throwing up in the air is not really safe but as long as the kids are safe then what, what are you gonna say and when they with dad you can do self-care if you don't like how the baby daddy or your husband or your boyfriend or whatever is dealing with the kid like throwing up in the air you don't like to see that do self-care do self-care <laughs> literally um but the next thing that I have is um, around the house have like a safe zone for your kid for me I've always learned that it's good for because um, I used to work at a school so I've always known that you have to have a safe zone because it gets tiring saying stop 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 no no like it gets it gets tiring and they don't they don't listen to stop and they don't say to no so I don't really tell, there's times I definitely tell Tyrell, stop, no, but I tend to try not to say those words, but we are human beings and sometimes it erupts from my mouth before I even um, think about it. I'm like, oh, stop, oh, no. like, you know, like it just comes out of my, my mouth, but um, for the most part, I have safe zones, like the things that he can reach, um, like the bottom things, they're just safe. Um, there's like... Never, we don't have knives on the bottom. Like even in the kitchen, I'm talking about um, the drawers that he can open. There's nothing like he can like hurt himself. There's just bowls. Like they they just love to take out bowls. So he just does that. I don't really care. I'll just wash it over. It's not that big of a deal. Just leave me alone. Do the bowls, whatever. Um, so save zones, even save zones in my room. Well, our room. Um, his books, the shelves, the ones that he can reach safe. So I don't have to say bye, no, not bye. I don't say stop, no. And he knows that, he actually knows that and I feel like that has built independence. Um, if I tell him, go get a book, he'll, he knows to go get a book, he can reach by himself. If I tell him um, with his play area, go get this, he can, he can do that. And he actually knows what not to touch. He actually knows what not to touch because there are so many things that he can touch. Like there are so many things that he can touch that he doesn't even, I, I kid you not guys I have seen this and this is not safe at all um, but I have like accidentally put like a um, a scissors next to him and Kai knows how to touch the scissors he won't touch it like I'll be like you know when you get like um, for, say this for example this was new so I'm cutting off the tag and I put like he's there and I put the scissors next to him he won't touch the scissors because there's so many other things that he can play with like it's kind of like what is it called reverse psychology you know um so there's so many other things that he can play with and even like there's um even if like he goes to touch it he looks at me he'll go to touch something and he'll like he'll look at me and i'll just look at him and he knows just by me looking don't touch that <laughs> But yeah, just have a safe zone for your kids so you could just avoid the headache of, and you can avoid the headache of just like being so on top of them, you know? You, you get to like just sit and do whatever because you know like they have a safe zone, they have a safe area. If you have to um, get a play, like those big play, not, is it play gym? Like those big play things, I, I'll put it on the screen, but from the top of my head, I don't really know exactly what it's called. But um, if you have to have that and put him in, do that. Do whatever. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself not be overwhelmed. Because um, motherhood can be very overwhelming. So I have found just little things that um, little things to do. For me not to get overwhelmed because I tend to get overwhelmed very easily and I have learned this about me and I ain't noticed until I, got, I became a mother I didn't know this until I became a mother I am um, someone who gets overwhelmed very easily and I and so I just have learned um, to do things for me not to get overwhelmed um, but 
schedule intentional time with your child you know um we spend so many times at least for me in my head like when are you going to sleep when are you going to sleep oh it's 8 40. Mm, he's going to sleep at 10. okay so like okay so like spend intentional time with your kid um and if you're a working mom like me i know it's hard because you know we're working throughout the day but so far what i have learned and you know i'm definitely doing another video i'm doing so much videos for y'all but i'm doing another video um healthy habits that i've picked up but i guess i can like spill and say this one um i started waking up at six most days at 7 a.m <laughs> but one or two times a week i do wake up at six um but then i need a nap during the day <laughs> but um wake up earlier than a kid you like wake up earlier um Kyrell tends to wake up at nine if he goes to sleep um late 10 11 he's a sleeper he has to get his old 12 hours of sleep that's one thing i love about him but um so me knowing that he you know wakes up at nine i wake up at six some days i do like i'm just like okay i need to wake up at six so i'll wake up at six um so i'll do my work for um i'll do um work for you know work for my work work for my job i'll do work for my job and then i will also um what else do i do i'll also work out so an hour i'll do you know work um things for my job that i know that i won't be able to do when he's around and then i also work out um i started running around but it's getting too cold so i'll just like do little workouts um my trainer has um challenges every day so i'll do that um for like 30 minutes and then i also eat my breakfast by myself because he always wants to eat whatever i'm eating um so I have breakfast by myself and by the time he wakes up I'm like good morning sweetie because I woke up and I'm energized I got um, some time for myself I got some peace and quiet there's nobody on the phone calling for me like I was so so I well not my job don't call me so so sorry I need you to send me an email I need you to do this I need you to do I need you I need you I do get the carols on my um leg mom mom none of that none of that it's peace and quiet for at least two to three hours and that has really 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 helped with my stress like i don't want to say i'm stress free but um i feel like i'm um maybe i was like at a 80 because it was bad i was very like very really stressed um very stressed and overwhelmed but um i think i got it down to like 40 like i just i don't feel stressed anymore honestly and like i said in like um, my previous videos i get to work out four to five times a day not a day a week i work out four to time four to five times a week because i wake up early because if i don't wake up early i'm not working out you want me to work out after i spent the day chasing a kid no so i wake up early to make sure that i'm doing things for myself and that's how i'm taking care of myself so again you're going to learn to do things um you're going to learn how to do things for yourself to take care of yourself while you're taking care of a human being everyone on my instagram by the way follow me on my instagram um so so xco um i'll put it on the screen also um everyone on my instagram is like how do you do everything how do you work out how do you take Cairo to his classes and take care of him and by waking up early by waking up early and there's also other habits that I'm going to tell you in another video but yeah so that was a mouthful but yeah <laughs> That was like how I schedule intentional time for with um, Kai and also taking care of myself. Hey y'all, editing Soraya is here. I am so sorry that that was a mouthful. But what I was trying to say is that me waking up at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. helps me get things out of the way for me to spend intentional time with Kyrell. I'm not all over the place. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. But I'm just spending time with Kyrell, um, focusing on just Kyrell. But yeah, I'm so sorry for babbling. But yeah, continue to the video. Um, the last is activity centers. Let me tell y'all. Ooh, my back. This is why this is back here. <laughs> I worked out yesterday in my bag but um, activity centers um, for me activity centers 
are like the best thing I've ever done because um, activity centers being like um, there's one there's like one center two center three it's three different activities you know um, I usually have the iPad as the last activity because you know we're a millennial millennial am I saying that properly um, generation so there is a lot and lots and lots and lots of screening so I do want to teach him because I am his mother and he learns um, his first school is the home so I want to teach him how to use the tablet because guess what if I don't teach him somebody else won't teach him so I gotta teach him so um, I've created stations the last station is usually the tablet and I show him how to use the tablet I show him you know educational games I show him um, fun games like fun learning games and I got the kid fire tablet because you can put um you can put a screen time limit so for Kyrell throughout the day I think I have it for like an hour for yeah and he's awake for about 12 hours so yeah an hour um so we'll work on that not for a whole hour but we'll work on that for like five ten minutes and then um the first activity it depends on like if I want him to learn let me give you guys an example um, I am in the process of teaching him his alphabets so I would have the first um, center as like puzzles the zoo puzzles and I'll probably have like two puzzles um, and so I do sit with him and that's another intentional time you sit with him so I'll sit here with him and I'll do the puzzles with him and then the second activity once I, I you, that's another thing you learn your kid so you learn when they're about to have a temper tantrum when you you learn when they're about to like throw like I don't want to do this anymore you learn their like triggers I guess um so before I, I give Kyra like depending depending on his interest I'll give him like he could stay on something for like 20 minutes depending on his interest if he's not that interested I give him like four minutes is that bad I'll give him like four minutes and now like just watch his body language and I'll see his little triggers and once I see like that little trigger I'm like okay Kai do you want to go to the next activity so I'm like preventing tantrum I'm re um, redirecting I'm redirecting the the behavior that didn't even happen yet you gotta be t you gotta be two times ahead of them and he thinks he's in control no I'm in control I'm the boss but um, you think that you're the boss so then we'll go to the second activity the act seven activity will be like a book because I tend to like buy books um, to match activities so we'll do like um, a book yeah I have books for one two three I was gonna say do I have anything else no I have books for numbers and I have books for alphabet so the second activity will be like a book so then the third is uh, you know that the tablet because he just read a book so let's go let's go have some fun on the tablet you know it's all about balance in life you know also you want him to be able to balance in life like no like yes it's time for um you can be on the tablet but did you read a book you know you could be on the tablet but did you go do a puzzle you could be on the tablet but could, did you do that you could watch TV but did you do that you know you can relax because it's you could you could relax it's time like I relaxed watching TV so I can't he you know and I know there's a like um, um, just such a bad um, notation with screen time but I feel like as long as it's controlled um, then okay like as long as the kid is not sitting um, that's my personal preference you know as long as the child is not on the iPad all day every day um, Cairo talks um, for his age he is able to tell me different things he's speaking in two word phrases sometimes he says three word phrases so I have no worries about his um, language development I have no worries about his development overall so why not give that screen time you know it's been working for us it's been working for my family so let's continue um, so yeah so we do activity centers and I put the activity centers because um, this is why I started talking about it um, even when I'm not like the first round I do introduce I do sit with him that's intentional times I said this already but um, I do sit with him I do sit with him and then the second round I just it's not really a, like a round I'll just like um, sit to the side work on my little computer because I am a stay-at-home mom so I, I do my little work on the computer and he's just like playing around with whatever interests him sometimes none 
none of the activities actually interest him so he's on the iPad and at that point I'm like okay so I could send a quick email for five minutes and then Kai let's play ball because he's always he's always he loves to play soccer ball basketball any type of ball he loves to play with it so um, I'll send a quick email and then I'll, we'll play some ball um, then um, if I see like he's not really interested in the activity center that's when I sit with him again but if he is interested in the activities I just let it out for the whole day because then he'll go back to it he'll like walk around and that's another thing reason why you want to um, create safe zone because then he'll walk around he'll like reach for the book he'll reach for this and then he'll go back to the activity center and then he'll play with the puzzle he'll play with this and then he'll go back you know because you don't got to worry about that you're just sitting on the side um, doing emails doing paperwork doing whatever you got to do because I'm a stay at home working mom um, but yeah so activity centers and also sensory bins sensory bins whatever sensory bin is with water Carol loves Carol loves water 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 Carol loves water so um, a lot of the sensory bins I do are with them water blue water red water broader what a cover, whatever color red water and that is teaching him his colors as he's teaching his colors that's teaching everything so um with the water sensory bins Cairo with I'm not playing I'm not joking I was gonna say 30 minutes but no Cairo will be there all day all day okay and that's that's when he definitely doesn't want to change his diaper he'll sit he'll stand and like you know <laughs> poop in his diaper and I'm like Never, I, I smell that don't you smell that but um sensory bins and that's another thing about learning your kid you're going to know what keeps the interest for so long like I have taught so much things to Cairo using water and ball um numbers one two three how many balls um there's uh, how many um fishes because he knows fish so how many fishes is in the red water one, two, three. There, you, you can use so many things with whatever they like. They like unicorns. How many unicorns do you see? What color unicorns? Oh, okay. Is there? Uh, there won't be letters on unicorns, but there's just so many things that you can use. Um, you, there's so many things that you can teach using their favorite item, you know. But um, yeah, so that is all I'm trying to think before I close out this video if I have anything else to say let's do a rundown just like what I jot down number one was be patient with yourself be patient with the kid and be patient with yourself be flexible um, take care of yourself bold like emphasize please take care of yourself take care of yourself take care of yourself because if you're not good no one is okay no one no one is good no one is good okay um as moms with we're, we're, we're on top we're the head you know it's not the dads we're, we're on top we're on top you know we're we're like we take care of them you know we cook we cook we do all that we take care of them so if we're not good nobody's good um oh i skipped this one i'm so sorry um i was gonna end good thing i was looking down but um definitely this I am talking to myself about this. Um, give yourself grace. 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 I Carol forced me to learn what grace was. Let me let me let me just tell that. Carol forced me to learn what grace was. Um, I was besides myself when Carol didn't start walking because I knew that he could walk, you know. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm his mother, but I just knew that he could walk. Um, I also work with kids, so I saw that he had the strength to walk. He had the movements. He had everything. I checked off the list. I worked with PT, so I'm like, mm, you're not a kid that needs PT. Um, so, why aren't you walking? And I took it personally. I took it personally. I said, is it something I'm not doing? Is it something I'm doing? But I was doing everything. Um, you will see. That I am a very hands-on mother <laughs> very hands-on so I was doing everything with him so I was like what's going on and Terrell um, would tell me that it's not about you it's not about you Terrell said he walked late I think Terrell walked at 15 months I don't remember how maybe 14 13 I don't remember but Terrell walked after his first um, birthday and he said he probably takes after me 
you know, he probably takes off. Sorry, it cut off, but I was saying that um, Terrell was telling me, like, you know, it's not you. It's probably him. Like, you know, it's his personality. The doctor was telling me, it's his personality. There's nothing wrong with your kid. And I said, no, there's something wrong. It's Well, there's nothing, nothing wrong with him, but it's me. I, I'm not doing something. I'm not, like, what am I not doing? Um, but yeah, Cairo walked that 15 months, and I took it personally. And that is the day that I learned. Um, that's the day that I learned that Kyrell will do, will do whatever he wants when he wants at his own pace. You cannot force him to do anything. And that's when I learned and that's when I backed off. I said, okay, okay. I took him to gym. I realized that I started realizing, I think earlier I started realizing like, okay, um, maybe he needs to be around other kids. You know he's a pandemic baby he has been around other kids so i said maybe maybe he just thinks grown-ups can walk and not babies the first day i took him to gym class he started walking at 15 months Kyra wasn't even standing he wasn't even standing by himself i knew that he can stand by himself but he didn't want to so um i took him to gym class and then my aunt said um when she was watching him he got up stood and started walking he stumbled he did stumble and then um, he he kept trying you know there was a couple of days he kept trying he kept trying he kept falling and um, he didn't like him falling so what he did is he he stopped walk he stopped trying to walk he stopped trying to walk um, and then we had to in intervene but the moral of the story is that um, I learned to give myself grace when Kyrell refused to walk and walked when he saw other kids um, walking give yourself some grace um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. It's long enough. I'm so sorry. I am a talker um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I got I hope you guys um, Got something from this video, you know, like you're doing great um, You are your child's favorite favorite person mom and dad favorite person favorite person so you're doing great continue to do great i am proud of you even though i don't know you i know you're trying your best and i am proud of you so i will see you guys um tomorrow in day six bye